In tonight's Earth 8 report, our Sean Stiles takes a look at a recent study on the eastern monarch butterfly population. These are the butterflies that spend winter in the mountains of Mexico, and the research shows a dramatic decline in their population. We've talked about the Pacific or Western monarch butterfly population and how it's been decimated over the years, down nearly 99% since the 80s. Now some new research has come out on the Eastern monarch population, the ones that fly from Mexico to Canada and back. Those numbers are extremely troubling. The Eastern monarch butterfly that spends its summers in the Midwest in Canada and then migrates back to the mountains of Mexico to winter has seen a dramatic decline in its population over the past two decades, especially from last year to this year, according to conservation scientists who held a news conference in Mexico City in early February. Researchers looked at the Oyamel fir forest in south central Mexico and found that just 2.2 acres were being used for roosting as compared to 5.5 acres last year. Gloria Tavera is the director of conservation at the National Commission to Protect Natural Areas, and she says this is the second smallest count compared to 2013-14, the smallest ever. When we had a decrease of 0.67 hectares in the Oyamal fir forest and the sanctuaries at the state of Mexico and Michoacan, 10 years later there is again, for the second time, a considerable drop in the forest occupation of the colonies. A hectare is equal to just under two and a half acres, which means the loss compared to last year is over half the population surveyed. It's estimated that 21 million monarch butterflies roost in a hectare. So the count went down to less than 19 million. This represents a 59.3% decrease in monarch population with the respect to the area it occupied during the 2022-2023 season of 2.21 hectares. Adan Pena is the head of the Commission of Protected Areas and says a lot of the loss is due to the use of chemicals. We are going to take action in this corridor to prevent land use change and the use of toxic agrochemicals. Particularly glyphosate and others, according to science, are also affecting the environment. Glyphosate is a weed killer and is used in farming, around landscape, homes and businesses. It kills just about all plants, which include milkweed and nectar producing plants, both crucial to the survival of monarchs. The United States and Mexico are working closely with Canada to help save the monarch butterflies. Gregory Mitchell is a research scientist at the Environment and Climate Change Canada. I'm very confident that given all of the research and all of the work that we've done together uh, across the three countries, uh, that we, we have a lot of the knowledge and a lot of the evidence base right now to begin conservation action and to begin to reverse the declines of the monarch and, and conserve the monarch population. I know what you're thinking, that one person can't make a difference, but one person can. If you try planting a little bit of nectar-bearing flowers in your garden, put milkweed in your garden, use less toxic herbicides, maybe pull some weeds instead. We can all make a difference because if we don't start doing something right now, these beautiful creatures could go the way of the dinosaur. Sean Stiles, Earth 8.